all right everybody welcome back to call of Duty black ops 4 um so if you didn't know there's an update a couple days ago i made a video um on how to unlock this smg and i said in that video that i was gonna make a video once i leveled it up and stuff uh showing what the best class for it was in my opinion and that time has now come the time is now so uh yeah new smg um the ots9 in my honest opinion I think it's kind of strong. It does uh, it does a decent amount of damage. It shoots relatively fast, but it's just too slow. If that makes sense, like the reload, the, I can't talk. The reload time is too slow, and the one thing I think really ruins the gun. I don't know because I've not looked at any like stat videos, so um, I could be completely wrong. But just based on what it feels like, I would bet that this has the slowest sprint to fire time in the game. And if you don't know what that is, that's like the time it takes. From you to go to a sprint to a uh to shoot like if i'm full sprinting and then i i shoot that's how long it takes this is so slow you jump around a corner and hold trigger and it will take at least a second to shoot and or uh, it is so it is so slow but yeah if you do want to use it um the best class in my opinion is the gra the, the growl groove suppressor um, it's an SMG, so you're going to be up close to people. I'd recommend having this. You could take it off and put something else on, but I like having suppressors on SMGs because you're running around getting in people's faces. So, I like to not be detected because you can get, usually you can get like multiple kills. You get like three or four. Um, especially since the time the kill is kind of high in this game. Um, you know, they won't know you're there, so it gives you an easier chance to get multi kills. Um, I don't use an optic because I don't really think you need one in SMG if you're playing it right. Um, for the barrel, I go with Task Force Barrel. It gives me extra damage, extra bullet velocity, extra damage range. It legit does everything <laughs> that you would want. Like just, I just use this on all guns. Just, I would recommend using the Task Force on literally every single gun in the game. Um, so yeah, body. I don't really use anything. You can if you want. I don't really do it though. Under barrel, I use best knots, grip, um, another thing you could probably take off if you want to. Um, I used to use a speed grip on everything, but it got nerfed a lot, and now it's only plus three sprinting speed. So, and what I do instead is, I put the spets knots, <laughs> snass, spec snass, um, grip on it, which takes away vertical recoil, which is cool, but the big thing is it, it, it takes away 20% Horizontal, horizontal recoil and if you don't know uh, horizontal I can't say oh my god talking is hard horizontal you, you know the side-to-side -side recoil Jesus Christ talking is hard the side-to-side -side recoil is the kind that you can't control like the vertical you can control because it's straight up but the stuff that's like side-to-side -side, you can't control so it's good that it takes 20% of that away I'd recommend using that and then if you sprint around the map I would sprint with with with, uh, with pistols out because it's it's faster to sprint with pistols than it is to have the speed grip on an SMG and sprint around with. Magazine, this is something that you need. I would I would say don't take this off. It comes with 20 bullets in the clip, which is not enough. <laughs> Before I got this mag, I was dying so much because I would just run out of ammo. So, yes, I would recommend using one of the mags, preferably the 30 round. I would, that's the one I'd recommend. I'd recommend using the 30 round. You can use, like, the 40 round or some other ones but they take away ads speed which i don't like because the gun's already slow handle um i use the elastic wrap i mean self-explanatory plus 30 ads time flinch resistance doesn't matter plus you could drop shot you'll love to see it you'll love to see that and i think in my opinion you could probably take the suppressor off and put the kgb skeleton stock on it because that would raise the sprint to fire time and that might make it not as bad. Um, it might make it like a lot better. So if you're using this class and you know you think you can go without a suppressor, I just recommend taking it off and putting on the, the skeleton stock. Because I think the skeleton stock would make it a lot better. But I just love suppressors on SMGs. Alright, so that's the gun. Um, I would recommend if you have them unlocked using dual wield full auto pistols. You know, agency suppressor. Uh, so you're not detected task force you know i said it before the ember sighting point so you get the extra hit fire the biggest mag and then uh, a kimbo i would recommend that as your secondary and when you sprint around the map i would sprint with this out because that would 
Because you run faster than, like when you're sprinting with a pistol, you run faster than you do while sprinting with an SMG. Even if it has speed grip on it. Stem shot, I mean, I think it's the best for pubs. This game, if you notice, if you play league play or just play without stem shots, this game is so, it's so, like the game is designed for stems. Like you can tell. Like the health goes up so slow in this game without stems. Uh, sim text, I just think it's the best. You throw it, stick people, you love to see it. I don't really think anything else here is good. I've seen lots of people use C4. I'm not tried it, so if you like C4, go for it. Um, the field mic's the best one in my opinion. You get to set it down. You know, it tells you if someone's coming, if they don't have the perk on. And then I use perk greed to get eight perks. Wait, six perks on smart. <laughs> not eight. And then flight jacket attack mask, you know, so you don't get stunned, don't get naded. Scavenger, so you get extra bullets. Assassin, so you get extra score um, towards your streaks. Ghost, so you don't appear on the minimap. And Ninja, so you can't be heard. And, uh, yeah, not really, not, I mean, I pretty much use the same thing on every gun. But that's the best setup, in my opinion. Like I said, you could switch some stuff around because people do play different. But, um, but yeah, um, I'll just get into the gameplay now. If you want to see more videos like this, by the way, let me know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. It sounds big. It probably gets annoying here every YouTuber say it, but I swear it, it works. YouTube's algorithm's so dumb that the more you, the more subs and likes you get, your video gets recommended more. So therefore, more people will see this. Um, and yeah. Oh, by the way, I was playing on Rush, but I play on PS4. I know. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's impossible to get a PS5 and my PC's broken. That's not important. Okay. The point is, I don't know if it's like this on every system. Rush is so broken. Like, the map is good. But once you get past, like, the halfway point and into where a domination flag spawns, no joke, you get 20 FPS. 20, 30 FPS. I don't know why the fuck it's like that. It's the only map in the game like that. There's no other map where, like, you go to a certain point of the map and you get 30 FPS or 20 FPS. So, I basically just camped on it because I don't like moving because I'm going to die because of the FPS. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. I'll never know. Capture the objective. This shit's dangerous, man. I don't like it. guys hate me right now. I would, to be honest. <laughs> I'm so fucking annoying. Holy shit. I have stuck. 